Hi, Geminis. Hello, hello, hello. This is going to be your bonus reading. I love you very much. Let me start. This is Monday morning. I meant to get to it before, but I had to do lots and lots of sleeping. So, <laughs> this psychic energy wears you out. I'm telling you, it really, really does. Okay, so let me spray my space with my sacred holy mist, which, by the way, is totally up for sale right now. This stuff will anoint you. It will protect you. It will make you smell like an angel, shaman, and an elf, whatever you want. It's for sacred healing. All right. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Love you guys. I'm going to be doing a um, Celtic cross for you. Again, I'm going to be starting it with the layout of the Lenormand perspective. Everyday life is what I'm hearing. Everyday, everyday life. So, one moment. Okay, here we go. Everyday life. What's going on in the energies of our Geminis at this time? We are going to be looking at love, so that will come up. Don't worry. It's a love reading. But we're going to do a Celtic cross first, so let's look. Your energy is showing up as... <clears throat> I'm not reading reversals. My bad. Divine feminine energy. Really classy. Really got it together. You know who you are. You know that you're gifted. You know that you're divine feminine. You know that you are the uh, fishizzle and you really are special. You are, you're in master number 11, so you're part of a um, soulmate twin flame type um, thing, whether you have them with you or not. Tell me what is crossing our divine feminine, please. Um, getting over burdens missing somebody, feeling like it's very hard to communicate with somebody. You just don't listen. The mountain represents the mountain in the way. You know, she feels like it's a real high climb. Something feels like a high climb for her. Hmm. What has she dealt with in the past? Long, distant, hard lesson, the hardest lesson, the hardest experience. What was that, please? That was... Um, Distorted masculine at his finest. She, uh, this dominant in here, she could be ma masculine or feminine. It doesn't matter because gender is non-specific, guys. You know, you guys are the lovers. So anything goes, baby. You can love who you want. This is divine mass. Uh, this is distorted masculine energy. It's Mars. It's Scorpio. It's, um, uh, it could be any sign for that matter. He actually has the appearance of a bull, of a Taurus, um, He's number 10, whereas she's number 11, 29, and 28. So he fell short of her glory. Hello? So she did something else, this energy, whether whoever you are. So tell me what they recently have done. Ah. You have recently have been going through something a little deceptive still. I don't know what it is. It just feels like somebody has promised you something and they didn't fulfill their promise. And you're looking at them going, don't you know who I am? Don't you see me? Don't you know? I'm divine feminine. You can't do me like that. I think it's still this energy here. I'm certain. What's in the higher mind of our beautiful Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? Communication. Getting your point across. Speaking to someone. Um, being heard, talking to God, talking to the divine, having friendships, getting your message out. What is the future energy showing? Children in reverse, innocence. We're not reading reversals, remember? Except for him. He doesn't even have to be in reverse, to be honest, because he's distorted. Let's face it, he's got pride, arrogance, selfishness, sexual energy. All he wants is sex. One big penis. Again, that's what I got. So I'm going to be real straight up with you guys. I love you. So someone's de dealing with children or their inner child. They're finally coming around after uh, dealing with uh, something not pleasant. And they're coming around and they're saying, you know what? I'm going to have fun. I'm going to call my friends. I'm going to be everything that I can be. I'm going to enjoy the very, the most delightful things. I'm going to heal my inner child. I'm going to love myself so much better than anybody else ever could. Tell me about what they're being seen as at this time. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. 
By the way, thank you, Cross Watchers. This, I don't know how this affects you because this is directly related to Gemini. I'm speaking to Gemini, Sun, Rising, Venus, and possibly North Node. Okay. Well, your environment is that of being a being very, very, being very true to yourself. Okay. Yeah. Boom. You're true to yourself. Nobody can pull any crap on you right now. You got the major energy of um, destiny. You're following your destiny. That's like the wheel of fortune. I'm following my wheel of fortune. If people see that, they see the change in you. I like it. Tell me about what their environment is that they're dealing with at this time, whether it be in love, romance, friendship, anything. What is it? It's movement. Finally, 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 moving away from an ending. Or changing something. Look at there's the mountains. Look at there's the mountains. Oh wow, cool. She's like, you know what? I have been dreaming of this day forever. I gotta get away from this e -e -e here. I'm gonna let my friends help me get past this. We're gonna go. We're gonna cross this mountain one damn way or another. That's wonderful. I'm happy for you. There's traveling. There's actual traveling. Yeah, you know, sometimes that reminds me of the Three of Wands. You put something out there, you expect something good to come back, right? It's that, if, and then you move towards it, and, it, and it gets closer and closer and closer. What would be their greatest concern at this time for my beautiful Geminis? Getting over the pain of any kind. You know, I'm looking for the sun. One day you'll know I was the one for tomorrow may rain so I'll follow the sun. That's you. Look at six. Benevolence. Moving forward. Getting out of the pain. Leaving it behind. Leaving it behind. It's crap. It means nothing anymore. Today, right now, right here, right now is all that matters to you beautifuls. And the outcome is you're going to come out of this with so much insight and, and so much change. You're dreaming. You're experiencing. You're going through shifts. And you should. You will. Yeah. You will. So let me use my, um, I'm going to use my crystal visions. And we're going to clarify this for you, okay? First of all, we have people healing themselves. Their true self. Yep. Beautifuls. Healing your true self. You know what? Before I clarify these, I'm going to pull Romance Angel cards. They want me to. So I will. Gemini, someone raising Venus. What is the love messages? I don't need to right now. Someone's considering reconciliation with you. There may be something on the horizon that brings you peace, but I don't know why you would want to be with someone that you don't trust. Seven. The um, snake in the grass is the um, the, li the liar, the deceiver, the, you know, that kind of energy. You don't want that um, because there's codependency related to it. I didn't make that up. <laughs> Tell me more, please. Um, this here is communicating with other people, getting to know other people, spending time with them, finding out what their dreams are, and then taking a retreat, going on a retreat, leaving somewhere, taking time out. From all of these burdens, all of these things that are happening to you. Mm -hmm. So give me clarification on her and what's going on with her in this mountain she's got to cross. Yeah. You want to know what the mountain is? The deceiver. Somebody not being honest with themselves. Now, Geminis, you have to be honest. You know, this is Gemini Libra Aquarius energy. Seven of Swords, this is getting past your own hindrances, using spiritual energy and communication to get across this mountain with some kind of help. Now, Seven of Swords is very much a shrewd card. It doesn't necessarily mean that you're evil or that you're out to get anybody. It just means that you're using shrewdness. Tell me about this masculine and this reconciliation. What is that? Please bear it for Geminis. Yeah, this guy can't trust him. High Priest just came out in reverse, so if somebody wants to come back to you, it's very tough to uh, trust them. 
They don't trust their own intuition. They're just following in their animalistic way. That's all I got to say about that. Yeah. So this is the King of Swords energy. You pulled the sword out on them. You're like, mm mm. I know what I need to know. And um, you can't change my mind. I, I'm using pure common sense. I'm communicating with the right people. I'm starting to dream again. I'm starting to heal again. And I'm moving forward into the sun. And um, tell me about the snake energy for them. King of Pentacles. It could be that you were dealing with an earth sign. They might you better actually be married to one, but this is an earth sign energy that was supposed to give you money or finances, and it could be the government as well, because it's seven, and and um, yeah. That looks to me like someone dealing with financial issues and be, feel like they're being cheated and shortchanged somewhere. Yeah, that's exactly what that looks like. It's Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. It's the king of the hill. I don't know who you think you are, but you're kind of mean, dude. Okay, tell me more about this guy. Recently, yeah, you didn't get a message from them. They didn't tell you the truth, or you didn't, you didn't hear what you needed to hear from this one. You retreated from them. Yep, that's exactly what I see. Clarify. Six of Swords. They didn't give you any peace of mind recently. You figured out something, and you're moving forward. Yep. You're not expecting that to go anywhere. Three of Wands is in reverse. Waiting for an outcome here? No, nope, not anymore. Yeah. But this person still got their eye on you. They're still watching you from behind the scenes, and you don't know that. Tell me about this Page of Swords, Gemini. Uh, they are a juggling act. They want you, but they don't want to tell you. They want you. They don't want to approach you because you have retreated now. You have communicated your needs. You've held your standard up high. I want to be loved. I want to be loved like you, by you, by you, and nobody else but you. <laughs> I want to be loved by you alone. Tell me about retreating the birds, please. Thank you. The, the emperor owning your stuff. Yes, 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 yes. You may be in communication with a Aries, perhaps. Uh, someone who's um, grounded and secure and in charge of business, in charge of a big time, big time, big time. Tell me about the emperor. Oh, Ace of Cups. It's love. Yep, there's love there. Yep. It's either Taurus or it's a, uh, Aries. Um, is somebody in charge? Somebody, somebody with money and power. Mm hmm. Yeah, somebody with money and power. King of Cups is here. Yeah, that's what I show for you guys. And uh, I think it's awesome. Look at this. So you leave the deceitful one. You learn a lesson from it. You pull back. You start putting yourself out there, healing yourself, becoming the divine feminine you are, no longer lying to yourself about how hard this has been. Being honest, retreating, communicating your needs, getting to know someone, sharing your dreams with somebody, building an empire for yourself, healing your inner child, working, working to heal uh, fears and concerns, and drawing in the, the pure inner love that you have for yourself right now that comes from you and you alone, but it shows up in the hands of someone who loves you. A water sign. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. That's your reading. I love you. Thank you. Bye. Oh, by the way, I'm still doing reconciliation readings for 3333. Email me, robinsrumreadings at gmail.com, and I will do one for you, and we will look at your situation and help you. I want to know who that is. Thank you. Bye.